Roger Hoover now joined by the head coach of the Crimson Tide golf team, Jay Sewell. And coach, congratulations. You love and your players turn pro. Maybe the first time you've had one on the current roster joined professional, but a great day here in Tuscaloosa for Nick Dunlap. It really is. I'm so proud of him. He's handled this moment so well. Um, you can tell by his emotions this was really hard. Not the decision to turn pro, but to leave the University of Alabama and especially his teammates. And so we're, we're, we're excited for him. This is what, you know, when they, we promise them when they come, we're going to help them become men on and off the golf course. And I think he's demonstrated off the golf course so well in how he's handled all of this. And, of course, on Sunday on the golf course. And so it's his time to fly. And um, we're excited for his new journey. And, um, I, you know, if I speak for all of our, you know, you know, for the golf program and all the players, we're really thrilled for him. Well, he and I talked last fall about the whirlwind that 2023 was for him, winning the U.S. Amateur, winning the Walker Cup, and all the great events he got to play in. Uh, what did you see in his preparation leading up to the American Express that gave him success last week? Well, you know, he spends most of the winter hunting, you know, so we don't ever see him other than when he comes out and practices his bow. And so he's both practicing into a target, you know, while we're uh, while we're all getting warmed. You know, we don't have practice during the winter, but he's out there shooting his bow. And so, but, he, you know, he, he did a little bit more golf this year because he did know he was going to have some professional starts. And so he had – but he came out of the woods. I said, you're swinging at it great. He goes, I know I feel good. And so, you know, he's – he has some teachers and all that, but he's really almost just self-taught at the same time. He has feels, and he goes, it just feels really good. And, you know, and I'm like, it looks great. And so it's just something clicked over the winter, and I think it's just his time. You know, you look at it, and you go through this, through life, and the plans, that, you know, and the journey that the Lord has for all of us. And I just, uh, you see that his was for this time. And so he... He, he practiced great. It wasn't like, oh, my gosh, I'm so tied up like he usually did coming out of, the, out of the woods. It was just perfect. And so you could see that he was trending well going into the t tournament. Alabama golf family really well represented at this tournament, whether it was Hunter on his bag and then six former Crimson Tide players in the field. What that mean to you? A lot. Um, really proud of that. You know, Nick, now that he's declared as our 10th player on tour currently right now, and I'm really proud of that um, because that's what we pr try to promise these young kids who have dreams to play at the highest level. And so, you know, and it worked out also well because he played with Wilson, you know, in the first two rounds till he got injured. And then so that was a comfortable pairing with Hunter on the bag. And then the final round, you know, when you're, you know, you're going to be really, really nervous having Justin in that group was calming, you know, even though he didn't really know him as well as he knew Ju uh, Wilson, he knew him by being a member of our team and talking to him on the phone or in texting a little bit. That, I believe, also calmed him. And so I think that's the Bama effect. Um, I'm proud of that. I look forward to them. We've already talked to them. Hey, bring this guy in, make him part of the fold, and make this transition easy. And I know they will. And I think that's why these guys have such success out there. So we're really excited for Nick Dunlap now turning professional, but now looking at your golf team that you have currently, uh, what was it like for them to learn the news that Nick was going pro, and what are the next steps forward for this team as they get ready to compete in the spring? Tuesday was a uh, was a beautiful day as a coach. You know, Nick had not told anybody he was turning pro. He told the team on, he didn't he wouldn't even tell me. He told the team on Tuesday in our team meeting um, on uh, at Tuesday afternoon and. That meeting will be beautiful to me as a coach the rest of my life, most of my career. Um, how they, ha how he handled them, he wanted to be the person who told them. That's why he dropped out of San Diego. The pressure was to go, just keep going while you're hot, get money, get money, get money. And he goes, no, I want to. This affects a lot of people. I think that's great maturity. And then their um, reaction to him, you know, they all spoke up. Cannon, especially as a as a senior leader, just said, hey man, don't you ever apologize to us because he felt like he was abandoning them. And that was when he got their support that we are in this with you and you're inspiring us and we'd be mad if you didn't. I think that's what he needed to hear to make this decision final. But that, that 30, 45 minute was very emotional. It was great. It's athletics. It's, I, I love it. It's why you do what you do. That is really special. And, of course, uh, here in Tuscaloosa, we've been talking about one of your pupils, uh, Coach Saban, who announced his retirement. He's going to get to play a lot more golf. Are you excited for him? So much. Um, you know, chatted with him this week. He was kind enough to call in on the broadcast, of course, and then he talked to, called me to talk to Nick um, after the round. And so happy for him. I think he, you know, he's run his race. He's done everything he could. He's, he's, done, he's given us all a chance as coaches to, to, to be in a bitter, bigger, brighter platform. Um, and his time is to relax. And uh, chatted with him, and I think he is, and I think he's very content and deserves a, lo a good retirement. We look forward to that. Well, we look forward to the start of Nick Dunlap's professional career again next week at the Pebble Beach. We look forward to seeing this Crimson Tide golf team in the spring. Uh, Coach Sewell, thank you for your time. We're going to be chatting more all throughout the golf season, but thank you again. Roll Tide. And Roll Tide. Thanks, Roger.